Last night I was really struck. I had a, just a, a night of empathy last night. As I'm, you know, going to bed and I'm talking to my wife and I we get, finally get the kids down and, oh, just one thing after another yesterday. And feeling bad for myself and I log on to Facebook and I'm going to rant. And as this is a rant, I'm thinking, uh, what I'm thinking is, how do people do this? How do people do this? I, I don't know how to do this. I really don't. I don't know. I've got, I've got an assistant. I've got a great wife. You know, we, 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 we're fine. We're fine. I can't keep up with life. Glenn, you had asked how we get by on a daily basis with all the different hectic things going on in our lives. And all I can say is I lean on Christ, my Savior. I'm self-employed. I'm father of homeschool father of six. I've got five boys that range from 13 down to three and a half, and one beautiful baby girl, newborn, that's a month old. And I just have to lean on my Lord because I live in a broken world, and I'm a broken man. But I know that through Him I can be made perfect. I was in the Air Force for 15 years. As a single parent of four girls, I've had them go through major events in their lives without my presence. So how do I keep it together without beating myself up? Well, I've raised my girls to be very understanding and to fill in where I can't be. I've raised them to appreciate commitment that we have as a family to each other and to accept that sometimes our best isn't enough, but it's okay. I don't get anger from them. I don't get tears of disappointment when I'm absent. I get an, it's okay, mama. I understand, and I got it covered. And then I get a hug that heals my aching heart. That's how I keep it together. Remember, take a breath. Take a couple of minutes for yourself to pray to God and pray for patience in times of need. He'll always be there. He'll never give you more than what you can handle. This is my tattoo that reminds me every day that I get up, rise and rise again until lamps become lions. Sometimes I don't actually handle it all. I, I do the best I can, I prioritize, and uh, pray that everything falls in line. I hope you'll understand. The two things that get me through the trials and struggles of this world are the attribute that my Creator gave me of free will and His promise that He gave me that His mercies are new every morning. Hey look, if your family's okay, you're doing okay. You can't do 100% of what needs to be done, but you can do 100% of what you can do. Scriptures and prayer together. Being a single mom, I struggled financially, so I started my own design business to improve my life. How I keep it under control? <laughs> I don't. Um, <laughs> basically it's chaos and it's just uh, flying by the seat of my pants every day trying to make it happen and uh, just do what you do try to keep things together and uh, just seeing my little girl smile at the end of the day makes it all worth it and uh, that's about it and uh, thanks and um, have a good day y'all I'm a single parent we have a 34 acre hay farm and besides doing hay I also build custom steel targets and I sell those at gun shows and I also work at a metal fabrication shop. I want my kids to realize that hard work pays off. I tuck them into bed every night, we say our prayers before going to bed, get them up either ready for school or daycare in the morning and I have a varied schedule depending on what it is that needs done, whether it's hay season or what's going on and I just, you know, I think a lot of people in the United States are working very hard and doing what it takes to make sure that they maintain a roof over their head and put food on the table and that's just something I want to instill in my children that my parents instilled in me that you can work very hard and your goals will be achieved. I think the thing that keeps me going in life is uh, I have two great kids, I have a beautiful wife, I have the awesome opportunity to, to attend college at 41 years old I haven't had before and uh, I'm, I look around and see other people that are not as blessed as I am and don't have the opportunities that I have so it makes me very grateful and makes me push forward. And considering how I manage my busy life, um, I guess I have to confess is that I don't really. More often than not it manages me. Um, one of the things that I think is the most practical thing I have to think about is my vehicle. I transport me and my kids, my clients. Um, I'm in desperate need of tires right now. At the end of the day I guess the way I manage is that I know that with my my real paying job and my home based business is that I help people and that takes the focus off of me and I think that's the only thing that makes my life manageable. Manage my complicated very busy life as a mom. Um, I try and make time for my kids and going to school and I usually just breathe and pray and 
hope for the best. I keep it together by never missing breakfast. I keep it together by reading the Book of Mormon and keeping a prayer in my heart. And I keep it together by believing that I was created to succeed. And you are too. Have a great day.